PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. How are we all going today? Hey, I've been mucking around with my new Yes Welder welding helmet and um, I want to change the lenses on the front of it. So I thought I'd do a video today to teach you guys how to change the lenses on your Yes Welder welding helmet. The front one and the back one. Because they're quite a bit different than the cheaper helmets, guys. The cheaper helmets are just a little bit quicker and easier, I think, to change the lenses. Whereas this one here, you have to watch what you're doing. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. And let's get into it, eh? Hee <laughs> hee! So if we have a look at the Yes Welder welding helmet, guys. This is a panoramic view helmet. And what it does is it basically goes halfway around your bloody head. So the protective lenses on the front are quite wide compared to this. If you have a look at this one, which is just a standard welding helmet, we've just got a small lens in the front here. So therefore this is going to be a lot easier to take off than this. Not that this is hard, but you just have to know what you're doing so you don't bugger the clips on the helmet and then bugger your helmet and have to hold it together with pieces of string or something stupid like that. So if we have a look at this one first guys, you see here this has just got some little clips here. And it's just got a little finger thing down here. You stick your finger in like that. And just, there you go. Done. Off. Grab your new one. Put it in. Slide it back in like so. Bend it over. Bob's your wombat. You've got a new lens. Same for the inside, guys. You just stick your finger in there and just prise it out. And it just comes out just like so. Piece of cake. Put it back in exactly the same way. Bend it over like so, and there you go. Bob's your wombat, no problem whatsoever. But this helmet here is just a little bit different. So to take this big front screen off, guys, what we need to do is look for these little lugs here. See that? There's a little lug here. It's just a plastic little lug. If you have a look on the inside, we can just move this around a bit so you can actually see it there, guys. Let's have a look. So I can jiggle this around a bit, guys, so you can see. Actually, I'll fold this helmet headgear back a bit so you can actually sort of see what I'm talking about. Hopefully that'll be a bit better guys and we can actually see in there. Can you see in here, see in here we've got a little sort of clip. All you do is just put your fingernail on that and just pull it back. You might have to give it a bit of gumption. Yep, yeah, there we go. You see that guys? It just slid out. And what that does is it drops out this little plastic doofa. I call it a doofa. Really complicated, eh? A doofa. That uh, the back of this clip here slides into the front of this plastic like so. If you imagine this on the inside of your helmet and this is on the outside of your helmet, it goes in there and just locks it in. So it's quite a good system, really. And just remember when you take them off not to lose them. And here we go. You see that? We've got half the front screen off already. So what we'll do is do the same thing on the other side, guys. Once again, we have a clip here, guys. Just pull the clip out. It may take two hands. There we go. Got it out like so. So they're quite tight, so they hold the screen in nice and firm. And once again, you'll have the plastic doofa thing falling out on the other side. And then the screen comes off completely like this. See that guys? And the screen has just got a cut out here that comes in sort of like the nose piece of your helmet here. So just remember that when we're putting it back on. And you also can't bugger it up for the simple reason that if you have a look on here, you'll see the shape of this is exactly the same shape as this clip. So all you do is follow shape for shape and then put it back together. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So when I brought my helmet guys, I got some spears with it. I got a spear battery and I also got a spear screen for the inside of the helmet. And I got two screens for the outside of the helmet. Because the outside of the helmet seems to get more scratched up than the inside of your helmet. So what we'll do is we'll put a new screen on the outside first and then we'll do the inside of it. First of all, what I do guys, when you get these new ones with your helmet, is just make sure they fit properly before you get all carried away. See that goes in there like so. That lines up there. That lines up on that side. Yep, so that's going to fit in there. So what I do first is take the protective cover off the inside of it first because you don't want to be putting it on and then have the cover on the inside and you have to take it all off again to take it off so just peel the protective layer off like so 
get rid of that paint. <laughs> and leave the outside protective layer on. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, guys, because these, because these little clips, guys, will spring out if you don't hold them properly. So what you need to do is grab your little top clip like that and make sure it goes in exactly the same shape as what your helmet is. You'll see it clicks down just a little bit like that. And then you need to grab your bottom clip like so. And always remember, guys, the flat edge of it goes to the flat inside of your helmet. So notice guys, I'm still holding it with this finger, the bottom of it, grab the clip, the flat side down, and just slide it back in the same way as we pulled it out. Hear that? Click, click. You see that guys? Click in there like that. Can you see that guys? It just clips straight in like that, no worries at all. And now we'll do the other side. Once again, guys, this is really, really springy. So just be careful when you put these clips in. Follow it the same shape around again. Push it in like that until you hear a little click. Here we go again, guys. Exactly the same thing again. Remember the flat side down. Flat side down. Like so. Push them in. There you go guys, piece of cake. <laughs> there we go, we have our front screen done. And what I'll do is I'll leave the protective layer on this until I do the back screen. Because the back screen is a lot more difficult to do than the back screen on the cheaper helmet. So anyway, let's get into that now. So now what we'll do guys, is we'll do the back. Now if we have a look in the back here guys, you can see like a little, a little indentation up here to put your finger in to slide this protective shield out. But it's really, really hard because it's got a couple of runners on the inside there and you have to like grab it, pull it up and bend it over to get it out. And I, I reckon that's going to break one of these lugs. So the easiest way that I've found to do it is actually take the whole front panel off and you'll be able to see exactly what I mean. Because if you try and do it like this, even when you're getting your new screen in, you're going to scratch the buggy out of it. So anyway, this is how I would do it. Now, if you have a look here, guys, you'll see there's a little clip thing here. Can you see that? And it's got a couple of little lugs on the top of it. All you do is just flick them backwards, like this. If you have a look at that, see, this is what I'm talking about here, guys, along here. So all you need to do is clip that off, but don't lose it. Pull it backwards. One. It's tight, guys. Hear that? Clunk. But it didn't break it, it just flipped out. And it's got a little sort of mechanism there that it fits into. And then what we need to do is just lift this up out of the bracket like so. And then you get the whole screen will come out. And what I'll do guys, because it's easier for the video, is I'll actually take the dimming knob off so we can take the whole thing out of the helmet. But you won't have to do that because you can do it while it's in the helmet. But I'm just trying to show you on the camera. So it's going to be a lot easier if I take the uh, knob off. So I just take the knob off guys, it just makes it easier for you guys to see. And if you want to do this, I'm prise it off with a screwdriver. Still you get a little bit of leverage on it, like that, and then just off like so. And then it's got a little nut on here. So just grab a little crescent and just undo it like so. And then you'll find that it'll come right out. It also has a locating pin on it, guys. We'll take that off. It has a locating pin for the ring. Here, I'll show you. Take that off like so. And here's your, your ring here with your settings on it. And it has a little hole that fits in the hole here so you can't bugger it up when you put it back together. And then just push that out like so. So what I can do now, guys, is just take the whole unit out of the helmet and that gives us a lot easier view when you can see what I'm doing. And we'll just stick the helmet to one side. Right, so here's the actual control panel of the helmet. And there's the darkening knob that goes on the side. What I'm trying to say is if you're trying to take this out, 
and you've got it inside the helmet, you have to slide it all the way up and bend it round, and it can be a right pain in the bum. Well, I think so anyway. And then you have a hard job when you're sliding it back to get it back into here. So if you just take this panel out like I've showed you, but just leave this in your helmet, you'll be able to do it a lot easier because it just gives you a whole lot more room. So all we need to do, guys, is grab a finger and shove it right in there because it's quite tight where the little piece is to grab it. So you grab it like so, and then you're gonna to have to pull it up to get it out, like so. See that, it's just sliding up now. Or if you try and do that with it fastened inside your helmet, you're gonna have no bloody show. So here we are here. Here's the old screen. So what we'll do is we'll just put the new one in just backwards. Be really careful when you pull this out too, guys, that you don't scrape it along the lens as you're pulling it up, because it'll leave marks on the lens. So, you know, just take a little bit of time and take a little bit of care so you don't scratch up the actual lens itself. So, like I say, I got a new inside lens when I brought the helmet. So here it is here. So once again, we'll take off one side, the inside, and I'll leave the outside until we get it back on the helmet. Here we go, guys. I haven't got any bloody fingernails. It's a right pain in the bum, really, but anyway. Take the protective cover off like so. Then the bit that it will take in the plastic off, slide that down into the frame of the helmet, like so. Now what you have to do guys is keep it quite level when you push it down, otherwise it will jam up. I think I got a little bit off centre, here we go, back to centre again. Here we go, down, 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 down. Now we've pushed it down to there, but it's still not quite located. And why that is, is because it's just touching on the ridge down the bottom here, if you can see that. So what you need to do is just lift that up a fraction with your fingernail or something, without scratching the lens, and keep pushing it down. That's it, like so. See that? It just clipped in. Did you hear it go clip? And there we go. So we'll leave that on until we get the thing back in the helmet, and then we'll take off the front lens cover and the back lens cover, and we should be right. <laughs> Right guys, we'll grab our helmet, turn them up the other way, and here's our screen here. Now you notice one end of the screen has got one, two, three holders, three sort of clip holders that clip into your helmet, and the other end has only got one, two. So the one with the two on one end is the top of the helmet. So that's where all your, your buttons and that sort of thing are on the inside, so that's the top of your head in other words, the top of the helmet. So this bit here goes in first, and then we'll clip the bottom down. Actually guys, I think I'll take the strap off. It'll make it a lot easier for you guys to see. That's a lot better guys. You can actually see what's bloody going on now. <coughs> it's a lot easier. So grab your paddle guys. Put it in with the two clips up the top of your helmet. Make sure it clips in properly. And then if you have a look down here, you'll see three clips. One, two, three. Just push it down like so. And then grab this piece that we took off before and just clip it back in like so. And put the lugs to the top. You'll hear it click in. Hear that? Click, click. And there you go. Back together again. So what I'll do guys is I'll just reassemble the switch here now. You see the switch here has a locating pin there. So you put the outside ring, and that's got a locating hole in it as well. So just turn it around until you get it into the locating hole, like so. And then put your little, and then grab your nut, put your little nut on top of that. Tighten it up a fraction. And then grab your knob and just push your knob back on, like so. Beautiful. But then we got the front, we got the back done. So now the last thing we've got to do, guys, is pull the protective film off the front. Like I say, it helps if you've got bloody fingernails, but I haven't. Pull it round, like so. Take it off. Hee -hee. Look at that, looks brand spanking new. Just pull the plastic off if you get a little bit stuck around here. 
because it will get stuck around there because the pin is holding the plastic down. So you just take that little bit of plastic off like that. But you're better off leaving that protective film on until you're actually ready to use it because if you're flipping it around over and backwards and forwards, you're going to end up scratching it. So right, we'll do exactly the same thing with the inside now, guys. This film here, remember we left this side on. Just pull it off completely. If you can get hold of it. Yep. There we go. Beautiful. See that, guys? Once again, you might get left with a little bit of plastic underneath the, the clips that hold it, but just pull them out. And look at that. Renewed welding screen lenses. Yeehaw! So, guys, I've just put the headgear back on. It's good as new again. Looks like it just came out of this factory. Yeehaw! So, guys, that's how you change the protective lenses on your Yes Welder helmet. A little bit different than the helmet like this, a standard helmet. Um, just a few little tips and tricks that you have to learn so you don't break the clips and other bits and pieces. Anyway guys, same as usual, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. If you want to see a review about this helmet, check up here. And if you want to see the first time I learnt to MIG weld without gas, check over there guys. See you guys, bye. Peachtools.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.